rifle uses the 32 uh, round. I'm thinking I'm so going to need a drink after that one. That was simply um, disturbing, actually. I think the backstory between the surgeon and Stefan is Stefan was a sentient ghoul. Uh, sentient meaning he actually could think for himself. And the surgeon was trying to figure out what made Stefan tick. So she got some super mutants together. How she did that, I will never know. But she did, and she... Um, um, captured Stefan. And when she captured Stefan, she didn't realize that Stefan was a glowing one. Glowing ones are the most powerful variant of the ghoul race. Um, they emit explosive radioactive blasts that um, while hurting you heal their allies. Um, there's feral ghoul roamers, there's all kinds of other ghouls, but glowing ones, like if you see a glowing one, take it out, kill it real quick, because if you don't, you're going to be in for a very big world of hurt. But that's the, you know, she fired missiles at me point blank range. So she about killed herself for me, which, thank you. Because I probably would not have been able to survive that fight without that. Because she's kind of a tough old bird, you know. Now, there are some ghouls in Fallout lore that are. As old as the Great War. Um, you're saying how 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 is that possible? It's actually quite easy considering that goals don't age. Once you're goalified, you don't age. You stop aging. You're basically a sentient walking zombie, for all intents and purposes, and you don't age. Which, I mean, honestly, I, I would have literally no problems with that because I don't age. Yeah, you got the ghouly skin, but, you know, I, I think I could deal with that, don't you? I guess to find our way out, we're going to have to follow the trail of dead bodies. I'm surprised there weren't actually more enemies in this little area than there were. I guess I guess I better be glad I didn't come to this area. Okay, hi. Ow, that kind of hurt. Oh, I'm not firing my shotgun. I'm firing. The... Yeah. I'm would help if I know what weapon I'm firing. Uh, I'm firing that. So I don't. I, I could swear I picked up shotgun rounds. Uh, ammo. Flamer fuel, missile, mini nuke. Yes, I have a mini nuke. 5.56 five, rounds, 44 magnum, 308. Huh, I guess I didn't. Okay, well, that's, that weapon's about to break anyway, so we'll. we'll We'll pull out the 10 mil pistol. Now, if I wanted to be really, really quiet, I could, I could equip the silenced 10 mil pistol and get sneak attacks on things. It would be amazing because sneak attack. You know, anybody who play has played a stealth-based character knows that sneak attacks are quite devastating. Turn off. Thank you. Um. Shotgun shells. How fortuitous. That's your word for the day, people. Fortuitous. Uh, sugar bombs, I'll take them because later on there's a quest. Get you some super drugs. Now, while this character will not be doing drugs 
much. He probably will do a few drugs here and there just to get by certain parts because without them they're virtually impossible. I have not found a way and I have logged over fifty six, fifty seven thousand dollars on the disc game. Um I don't know who this John Henry Eaton is because I never voted for him. No thanks. Yeah. Don't know where he is, so I'm not really concerned. Also, if you play this game, you want to open all the stall doors, but you want to be very careful with them because, yeah, that's weird. Um, some of them can be booby trapped. If you see like a plate up here, don't open the door. You're going to get blown up. I so did not want to do that. That just happened. I just drank out of the toilet. So, yeah. Where's the exit for this place? Good lord. Oh, man. So, yeah. I can go. No, no. That's also one of the issues with these, these these big places, is that you can get lost horribly. You know. Then I just got uh, warped by a random piece of whatever. back out to the capital wasteland and we're probably going to get shot at by a raider that's over here. Let's see if we're... Oh. And he sees us, so oh. no sense on hiding. So he's dead now and we'll take that, we'll take that. We'll take the 10 mil pistol and we'll take the one. So, there's another raider over here. Now, one of the things you want to be very careful for... Oh, these are not raiders, these are guard dogs. But one of the things you want to be very careful about is... ...actually engaging multiple heavy targets at the same time. Much as, like, uh... That guy right up there who happens to have a frickin' flamer. Ow. That was not nice. I'm going to have to teach him what the meaning of the word nice is. Come here, you. Where are you? Let's play a game. Let's see if you like my heavy weapon. Come on. I'll even make it easy for you. Come on, right down here. I guess he didn't like my weapon. I hit him so hard I knocked the flamethrower off of him. Isn't that amazing? Now, we're still trying 
valiantly to get to the outcast distress call. Which, um, is located, um, I believe over there. Oh. But we're going to go this way because we don't want to be out in the open too much and we're going to repair some of our kit. Now, I actually want to use the silenced 10 mil pistol, and the reason why I want to use the silenced 10 mil pistol, if um, Now, I know we picked up a silenced 10 millimeter pistol, but okay, and we want to sneak. why we want to sneak is because uh, places like this are often very very dangerous and you can die very quickly in them. so what, are we, what, what else we're going to do is we're actually going to do a safety save so we don't lose our progress in case we do die see there's a mob right there that's cool. Fuck. That's okay. And that's the easiest way to take out ghouls. Pop their head. You don't have any issues anymore. The one issue is that the weapons, uh, ammunition, the 308 round is kind of rare early in the game. I mean, later on in the game, you'll find all the 308 rounds you can hold. But right now, they are still kind of rare. I mean, I could I could use the uh, hunting rifle, which might not be a bad idea. The hunting rifle used is the much, much, much more common um, 32 caliber round. And some of these cans are glitched. So we're hidden. And what that means is that if we come across an enemy that we can actually shoot at, we will be given the opportunity have a sneak attack. Sneak attacks are wonderful because you can get basically shooting a person in the right space can grant you instant death. And this is where we want to be. This is exactly where we want to be. Okay. It seems like he's shooting at a lot of stuff. You got a death wish walking through a war zone? Listen, local. If you want to be of use, Help us clear the mutants between here and our base. If not... And we can definitely do that. Um, we can definitely help clear the mutants. I mean, they don't really need the help, but... 
they basically give us free stuff to get. And if one of them does die, they'll actually drop their power armor. And I actually like the, uh... I actually like the, uh... Outcast's power armor. It's kind of cool. I mean, we could always go on. And sometimes that's not a good idea, because that... Now, are we really supposed to be here? No. Is it fun to be somewhere where you're not supposed to be? Yes, it's immensely more fun to actually do something you're not supposed to do. And the prize for it is a great motivator, power armor. Now see, these are the Brotherhood Outcasts, which, they're from the Brotherhood of Steel, yet they didn't agree with the leader's mantra of protecting the people, and so uh, they kind of split off. Now see that? Super Mutant has a minigun. And I want it. It shall be mine. Because reasons. I mean, I don't think I really need to explain why I want a minigun. I mean, it's a minigun. And now I've gotten their attention. That's okay. I want that minigun. I just have to figure out how to get it. I think I have to go around the other side to get it, because minigun. You know, I don't care if I have to repair it, I just want it. I'll probably never use it, because there's so many other miniguns that are so much better. Like, um, Eugene. For those of you who don't know, Eugene is a, um... Eugene is a unique minigun that has a higher rate of fire, more damage per second, and just better everything than your commonplace minigun. I mean, damn, but hey, we'll just get it this way, we'll just go right up here and we'll, damn, and apparently we're not going to be able to get that minigun, oh, spew, okay, well, that's okay, that's okay. And we are, yes, taking radiation damage because, well, super mutants were born of the radiation. Oh, I'm over encumbered now.